everyone so i want to show you a collective tj maxx and marshall's haul this was over the course of maybe about two or three shopping trips there were a lot of new items that i was tempted to buy but i want to hold off because my friend is gonna let me borrow her discount again during black friday which i know that they don't really have sales but i want to go over what i got at tj maxx first so this is the first item from the brand Onyx Bathhouse. This is the six piece shower steamer set. I previously bought this in the scent Unicorn Dreams, which is I believe strawberry, apple, and this other scent, but this one is coconut and lime. And I don't really like coconut, but the reason why I bought this is because the price was $2.50. So I wanna test these out um, first and see how they go. And the scent is really strong. I can actually smell the scent through the packaging, if you can believe that. I feel like this would go good with the scrub called creep it real because that scent is coconut next item that i got also from the brand onyx bathhouse this is um i really hate it when they put the sticker over the front because it's really hard to like you know just enjoy the cute packaging but this is the love is love body butter in the scent pineapple mango if you can see the original price i was actually the one who found this item and asked the cashier to put a sticker price on it but I thought she was going to put a sale price, um, but no, she put the regular just $5.99. And then I decided to hold off and I ended up finding it on sale for $4.50, so I'm really happy. So it's a pretty good size. It's a body butter and it's pretty heavy. I really like it more than the body lotion that I got in this gift set. Let me go ahead and open it. It has a seal, which I'm happy about. So here it is. It has this um, plastic seal. So I am going to really enjoy this and I love it how I have a matching body butter to go with the body scrub and it still looks pretty good. Of course, it's been like tossed around a little bit in this packaging. I really love it. It's super fragrant and I can't wait to use it. Okay, and then the last three items are just going to be body scrubs. I'm going to go over with the first one. Okay, I've been seeing this body scrub every single time I go there and I keep telling myself no. I first saw it when it was regular price at $5.99, then I believe it was $4.99, then it was $3.50, and then it just kept going down. And I finally bought it when it was $2. So this is from the brand Body Prescriptions. This is called Apple of My Eye in the scent Apple Pie. I really love the top part. It's just an apple pie. The reason why I wasn't sure about this is because it did come partly open, which I kind of don't really mind if I'm going to use it as a body scrub, specifically on my feet or my knees, but this one smells pretty good. Um, the only thing is that it's really thick, which is what I was going for. I wanted to try a thicker scrub than Onyx. So this is how it looks like on the inside. If you could tell, it's just like a big mass of um, body scrub. I think I need to add water or something to it and we'll see how coarse it is but yeah it does smell really nice i do get the apple pie scent it's a little bit faint though i hear that body prescriptions scents um they'd have like this underlying base note and then with a little bit of scent so i'm glad because i've been seeing this each and every time and i feel like it was a sign for me to get it so these are two scrubs from a brand i've never tried before i'm actually not sure if you can see it let me zoom in a bit I believe it's called Asquith and Summer set. I'm not too sure, the writing's really tiny. But these are salt scrubs, so I'm assuming they're a little bit rougher. And they are in the scent Hazelnut Hot Chocolate. And let me tell you, there was one that was open. I wasn't gonna buy it, but I always like checking to see if it's used or not, instead of being surprised when I get home. And this one smelled so good. It smelled like the Bath and Body Works hot cocoa and cream candle. I love it. I hardly get the um, hazelnut scent but I just really love it and it wasn't even super on sale but I decided that I would like kick myself if I didn't get this. Ask with and Simmer said hazelnut hot chocolate and these were both $4.50 so I wasn't about to wait to not find these because they are so just gorgeous gourmand smelling. I really like the lid as well. It's just like a hot cocoa with a bunch of marshmallows and it definitely smells sweet like a powdery hot chocolate that you're about to drink. So these are the last items from TJ Maxx. Okay now I'm gonna go over to Marshall's but before that I'm gonna show you what I got at Big Lots which were just two items on sale. 
so these are just two cookie mixes from betty crocker dunkaroos rainbow plus marshmallow sugar cookies these are so sweet but so good they were originally a dollar 29 but i got them for 97 cents and they were almost expiring so we as you can tell it's like all gone but they're really good i'm so happy this is like the third and fourth bags that we got and i would definitely recommend this if you like very sweet cookies and then the last thing we got from big lots also in the clearance aisle make sure to check that out and the expiration date this is from betty crocker called mug treats in the flavor blueberry muffin and then it says with cream cheese glaze so i'm super excited to try that out it's one of the ones where um, it's like a cake or some type of muffin mix. I haven't tried it and this was the one of the last two that were there. Now moving on to Marshalls. Okay, I found this gift set in the clearance aisle. I'll show you the price in a little bit, but this is from Philosophy. I've never tried Philosophy. They're at least too expensive for my taste. But this one was a cute little trio. Melon Daiquiri, Senorita Margarita, and Bubbly. I believe these are like a multi-purpose product like a shampoo, bubble bath, and shower gel. So if I don't like it as a shower gel, I'll use it as a shampoo because my hair, I can use basically any type of product. And I don't know if this is coming across, but this box is super thick. It's super pretty. I love it. I got this for $10. I'm not sure what the retail price was, but yeah, here is the back. And here is how it looks like without the lid. As you can tell, there are three shower gel slash um, bubble bath slash shampoos. All of them are 180 milliliters or 6 fluid ounces, so that's a pretty good price. And then the last thing that I got was a reed diffuser. I've been looking for a nice smelling reed diffuser and I saw this. It looks very like Halloween, doesn't it? But it was regular price. So this one is called Witching Hour Stardust Peony right here. It's a little like um, where you could test it out and I get like a light peony scent as well as like a fruity almost like an apple mixed in i haven't found the scent notes so i'm not sure how accurate that description is it is from the brand north muse and once again it's free diffuser 100 milliliters the price of this was 7.99 i tried to find one on clearance but it was only a dollar less and i like the scent a lot more here's how the bottle looks and on the inside i believe it has like four or six reads right last product my sister found this by the candle section it seemed like someone had left it and whoever left it i think had great taste they had this product as well as some inkyless items that i hadn't seen in the store before so i decided um first i ignored it but then i'm like heck no i'm going back and it just smells so great this is 114 chai eclair hair and body mist and it smells so gourmand it's actually from the brand limon gourmand if i'm pronouncing that okay it has 3.4 fluid ounces or 100 milliliters and i remember seeing these and kind of passing up on them i think i like the creme brulee but i don't see like any of these anymore and i was a little bit hesitant because of the color of the liquid but it smells just gorgeous i mainly get a soft spice scent but it just smells so warm and inviting very fall and winter appropriate i got this for $14.99 so the reason why i wasn't too sure is because i did spray this in the store like one spray and i feel like it turned into a skin scent like almost immediately but i could still smell it so i think this is definitely a scent that i would have to layer or just use it on my hair and no it's not gonna last or project like some other scents like a very perfumey scent from bath and body works or other body mist and sprays that i have but this was the last item that i ended up purchasing oh and i don't know if i said this but it's 3.4 fluid ounce or 100 milliliters all right now on to the final marshall's purchase the lighting is different because this part of the video didn't save but the next item that i got at marshall's i didn't expect to find this and i haven't seen it and i'm kind of concerned that it's an old packaging but i got another onyx bathhouse scrub this is happy chalala days foaming body scrub sweet sugar with honey extract i'm not sure why some of the like is this a new scent or it's a very old scent i'm not too sure but this scent is a repackage of a valentine's day scent that came out let me bring it up because i have it in my collection it's a repackage of you are too sweet foaming body scrub as you can tell they both have sweet sugar with honey extract the only difference of course is the color and this one had the hearts at the top 
but the reason why I got this, if you could see the price, I think they incorrectly labeled this. So typically these Onyx bathhouse scrubs retail $5.99 and then how it says right here, compare at $5. So the normal pricing is that they compare at $8 and then they go for $5.99. So this is either a very old scrub or this was just mislabeled. I'm not sure how that would happen, but yeah. I decided to get a backup because that's a pretty good price for this set. I think I got this one for $4.50 back when the Valentine's Day collection came out. But yeah, I got one of these and I think the colors are very pretty. It's like a nice blue white color scheme going on. And then the last thing that I got at that Marshalls was this sheet mask that I've been debating on getting. If you look at it, it's super like almost stepped on, super, I almost feel kind of bad putting this on my bed. But it's not open, it's on, it's like what's on the inside that counts. This is the Acure mask. It says Brilliantly Brightening Biocellulose Mask. It has niacinamide and kale, good for all skin types, 100% vegan. And the reason why I got this is because I've been wanting to get this mask ever since I got an Acure face mask for, I believe it was 99 cents or a dollar, at most $2.99. But this, okay, let me show you the retail price. So I saw this when it was retail price $14.99. I have no idea why this particular mask is $14.99. It's just one single U sheet mask and I've been wanting it. So if you can tell, there's a lot of stickers. So at one point it was 12, it was 10, seven, and now at five, I'm like, okay, I'll bite the bullet. I'll buy it at five. Yeah, so this uh, won me over. I'm gonna try it out. Hopefully I really like it. I mean, it's a one-time use, so for sure if there's extra juice, I'm gonna use that all over my body because for $5, I hope this does something. These were the two items that I got in one Marshall shopping trip. So yeah, those were all the items I purchased. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.